greetings for the day my name is mohammad rahmat ali welcome to another session of computer networks in today's session we are going to learn about socket programming how socket programming can be implemented and some of the basic things related to socket programming before directly jumping into the topic let me revise the thing that we have studied in the previous session in the previous session we studied about what is network programming what is a socket why we use a socket how a socket has been implemented and where the socket is been used so in today's session we are going to speak with the reference to the socket programming now what do you mean by a socket socket is a end point node which receives and sends the information on the network socket is a end point node which is used to send and receive the messages or data packets from another network or similar network now what is the definition that is been given over here socket programming is a way of connecting two nodes on a network to communicate with each other to communicate with each other one socket or node listens on a particular port at an ip while other socket reach reaches out to the other to form a connection in the sense how many number of ports that network will have that amount of connection that network will be having and every of the socket will be listening to a particular ip to receive the information from that particular ip address or to receive and send information on that particular ip now whereas let's see the point that is been made over here is like there are some end point nodes to a network and to that end point nodes of the network will reach out to the other networks connecting or to the other ports connecting to it okay to make a connection to transfer the information from source to destination or to transfer the packets from source to source to destination or to retransform the retransmitted data or lost data or this also will help you to find alternate paths or alternate routes to be taken if at all congestion happens if at all traffic happens if at all any of the router gets down or if at all any of the router is been physically damaged or anything happens so this should the help of sockets you can transmit the information on the network now what it further says server forms the listener socket while client reaches out to the servers now what do you mean by this server will set out the information to all of the clients if at all if any of the client requires that particular information they will contact that server it means server will like form some listener sockets to listen the request from the clients and to respond to that uh, request server forms some listeners to get request or to listen the request from the client to be responded on that particular request so this is what we call as socket programming this concept is called as socket programming socket programming is basically a client server type of application in which the client requests for the information and the server responds to the information it is similar like the q and a session that we did you requested some questions i tried my best to respond you the things i made you i made the form of listeners so that i can listen to your question either by the form of by unmuting yourself or by the form of commenting in the chat box or writing the question in the chat box i made some listeners from my side which will listen for it and i and i can respond to that particular request that is what we called as or this process is called as socket programming this process completely is called as socket programming now what are the type of sockets there are two types of sockets 
the datagram socket and the stream socket the first one is the datagram socket now what do you mean by this like in the previous session we studied about user datagram protocol in that we have seen it is connectionless type of a network or connectionless type of a protocol now what here it says this is a type of network which has connectionless point for sending and receiving packets it is similar to mailbox the letter or the letters or data posted into the box are collected and delivered or transmitted to the letter box now what do you mean by this this means connectionless in the sense see if at all if you want to send some uh, what you call as information so you will be using your own id to send the information to that particular id okay now to make a clear uh, differentiation and to make you understand better i'll give you an example something like you want to send an email to your friend stating that we will have a, a, a study group tomorrow or day after tomorrow okay or you can say like we will be celebrating my birthday at this particular spot on this particular day okay this is the email that you want to send so what you will be doing you will be logging from your email address it means you will be having your own id as well as as well as you will be sending the email to your friend which they also have some of the unique id or email email address so from my email address to him to the my friend email address the information is been transferred the information is been transferred means in this case in this case both the connection there is some connection between these two things okay this is one type of communication in another type of communication i am i am writing a letter to my friend and i am posting it in the letter box i am writing a letter writing the to and from address and i am posting it on the letter box now it depends on me to post the letter in any of the letter box across the city it means i can post that letter from anywhere across the city in any of the post box if at all if i put that letter that letter will will be sent to my friend from my side from my side that is what we call as datagram type or user datagram type of protocol in this it doesn't have any of the connections the physical type of like this only the route to be followed or this particular id or this particular things so what it says datagram socket this is a type of network which has connection less point for sending and receiving packets it is similar to mailbox the letters or data posted into the box are collected and delivered or transmitted to the letter box or receiving socket the only thing that to be done is like you know to collect the letters from this letter box or this from post box and to be sent to the respective post boxes way from where it can be reached to that particular address that type of sockets are called as datagram sockets and this type of communication of network is called as datagram socket type of communication now the next one is stream sockets and what do you mean by the stream sockets in computer operating system a uh, stream socket is a type of inter process communication socket or network socket which provides a connection oriented sequence and unique flow of data without record boundaries with well defined mechanism for creating and destroying connections for detecting errors now what do you mean by this this much long type of definition what do you actually mean by this this means it has some particular path it follows some particular sets of rules so that no packet is been lost in between and it sees no breaching is done in between and also it is a type of inter process communication now what do you mean by this inter process communication if at all if you have come across the operating system if at all if you have studied the subject called as operating system in that you can like you studied about inter process communication but just to clarify you to remind you inter process communication means there are multiple process which is getting executed on the operating system but it but the processing of 
the information on that operating system is one it means you can process only one process at a time but the system or the operating system or the what you call as the cpu that you are using is so fast it looks like you are processing multiple operation at one instance it looks like you are operating multiple operation at one instance that type of communication is called as inter process communication in which the first part of first process has been executed then second part then third then fourth and parallelly second process first part second part third part is been executed so in this way one process get executed one time and it is been synchronized in, in such a way it looks like multiple processes are getting executed at one instance in the same way in the same way in stream socket multiple connections multiple process of things and multiple receive and open and close type of connections are been created and destroyed but here it follows some path it has some predefined instructions it follows some rules to transfer the information so that no data or no packet is lost in the way or on the way to to be received at receiver's end okay now it is similar to a phone a connection is established between the phones or two ends and a conversation or transfer data takes place as as soon as the connection like as soon as i lift the call the connection takes place until i drop the call until i drop the call sometime this may happen that the network is not good the packets are been lost if at all if i say hello and you are not able to receive your like you are just receiving h and o the middle part is missing like this is a disturbance with reference to the network and also like if at all if you are speaking in a remote area on a, on a on a mobile phone you also will see some of the disturbance in the voice so that is that is why if at all this disturbance is happening what are the measures that can be taken to retrieve it what are the measures to be taken to retrieve it that is been done with reference to a different mechanism but here stream socket means it is used with reference to some of the instructions or predefined rules to be set so that the communication happen smoothly between two nodes with the help of sockets now what are the different methods or functions called use in stream socket the first one is create this statement and also let's like, see these are the methods methods or these are some of the functions that are being used to indicate the connections and disconnection or creating of connection receiving of the information sending of the information these are some methods that are being used with reference to programming to send and receive the information but the first one the first method is create this is used to create a socket you have a socket you are programming to make that socket to be as to like you know to work to make it in a working condition so that we can receive and send information through that socket the next uh, method is or the next function is bind what it does it's a socket identification like a telephone number to contact now this bind will tell you to make a connection to that particular uh, ip address or to that particular socket for that reason bind function is been used so it means bind function is used to make a connection with some ip address or to some socket and the next one is to listen or listen function listen function is used to make or it says that ready to receive a connection the socket say that i am ready to receive a connection the next method is connect which is which says like ready to act as a sender ready to act as a sender next method is accept which says confirmation or it is like accepting to receive a call from a sender okay the next one is write to write the data read to read the data and close method to close the session now to make this simpler for you to make this simpler for you what actually is it does is you lift your mobile phone you created a socket 
like you have search for the contact it means you are you are in the bind function listen in the sense now you are ready to receive the connection in sense now you are calling that function and as soon as you press on the call it is connect that is connect and accept in the sense the moment receiver will receive the inform will receive the call the moment like you know when you click on that green button accept is been like you know the function accepts invokes and it executes when the moment you say hello the right function comes into picture and the moment read you have received that information the moment i said hello you need to receive that information as hello that is read and the moment you drop the call when you press the red button the connection is been closed the connection is been closed this is these are the different method with reference to the stream stream socket to establish a connection to receive a connection to send a connection to to send a data to receive a data as well as to close the connection between the connected nodes connected nodes this is all about the stream a uh, stream socket is all about stream socket i hope you understood something from today's session and if at all if you have any doubt relating to today's session please let me know by by dropping an email on my email address remat_ali to you at the radio.com that's all for today i greet you for the day and i hope all the best for the day for you see you in the next session thank you for listening and thank you for joining the session